What is up, everybody? We are back here at King Film Sports for the official NFL playoff predictions. I'll be starting out in the wild card round, picking every game, uh, and then going from there until we crown a champion in Super Bowl 56. Stay tuned because I will also be dropping a couple other videos this week wild card betting locks and game predictions, and then also every team's easiest path to the Super Bowl. I'll be explaining that in another video. Uh, so here we start out in the NFC where we have the 4-5 matchup, the Rams and the Cardinals already seen these two teams split in the regular season. Uh, and here in the 4-5 matchup, I have to take the Rams in this game because they have been historically better against the Cardinals. They have a great matchup against mobile quarterbacks with that uh, talented defensive front of theirs. And Jalen Ramsey always plays well against the Cardinals receivers, whoever that may be. So I like the Rams in this one. I think Stafford has a get-right game. He hasn't been playing very well over the latter stages of the season. Uh, but in this game, I think against the Cardinals defense, he plays a little bit better. And I think a lot of pressure is going to be on this Rams team at home here. So I think they deliver and get this one done in the first round. Next, we get to a very intriguing matchup. Cowboys facing the 49ers. Obviously, the old rivalry in the 80s and 90s. And now we see it here again. And in this one, I've got to take the upset. Niners going into Dallas and getting the win. I know that the Cowboys have a very talented front seven uh, led by Randy Gregory and Micah Parsons. But I think if the Niners get Trent Williams back, they will be able to dominate the line of scrimmage. Get Debo Samuel and Elijah Mitchell engaged in that run game. Uh, and I think they will be able to run it on Dallas. And then Jimmy Garoppolo showed against the Rams that he can do it in the clutch, even with that thumb injury. So I've got to take the Niners here to get the upset win in Dallas. Now we get to the 2-7 matchup where the Bucks host the Eagles. And I think this one will be pretty lopsided. Uh, don't get me wrong, the Eagles have a strong running game. And Jalen Hurts is an X-factor. He definitely could surprise some people. Uh, and will be instrumental if the Eagles want to win. But I think that the Eagles' strength is their running game, and the Bucks' strength on defense is their rush defense. If you want to beat the Bucks, you have to take advantage of those corners, uh, which their depth has not been great back there. Uh, but I don't think Jalen Hurts will be able to do that. And then Tom Brady against this Philadelphia defense, I think he will be able to put up a number on them. Tom Brady's been playing pretty good as of late, even though his weapons have shrunk. So... I will be taking the Bucks here to get the win at home in Tampa Bay. Next, we get to the NFC Divisional Round where the Packers face the 49ers because the Niners are the lowest uh, overall seed remaining. Uh, and in this one, Lambeau Field, I'm going to take the Packers to beat the Niners. I know Aaron Rodgers has underperformed in the playoffs against the Niners. He is 0-3 against San Francisco. Um, but in this game, in Lambeau Field, Niners, a warm weather team. Uh, I think Jimmy G in those elements against a very good Packers defense. I don't know what we'll see out of them. Uh, I know the Niners ran the ball all over them a couple years ago, but I think it's different now. I think Jimmy G will have to play a much better game. And then when it comes down to the likely MVP, Aaron Rodgers, I just don't know how much uh, the Niners front will be able to stifle him in that uh, Packers running game. I think Aaron Rodgers will be able to take advantage of the Niners' depleted secondary, which has not been very good this season. That's really how you beat the San Francisco team, and I think Aaron Rodgers and Devontae Adams have the blueprint to do that. Uh, with that being said, I do think it will be a close game. These two teams played in Week 3, and it was a two-point game decided on a last-minute game-winning field goal. Uh, so I think it could be very close, but give me the Packers to win that there. Next game, we have the Rams against the Buccaneers, and this one will be very close. I actually do not know who to pick here. I am slightly leaning toward the Bucs, so I will take them to win. But we already saw these two teams play, and Stafford dissected that Bucs defense, uh, that pretty weak secondary that they have. It has gotten a little bit healthier since, uh, but Stafford really hasn't been playing as good as of late. He threw two key interceptions down the stretch in that Niners game, which gave San Francisco the victory. Um, so in this game, I think Tom Brady will do just enough to beat this Rams team, although it will be very close. I might change my pick the day of the game, but for now, give me Tampa Bay. So now that sets up a rematch of last year's NFC title game. 
uh, and we will see the Packers once again hosting the Buccaneers. Uh, and really, I think home field advantage plays a key part in this game. Tampa Bay has been very good at home, but away they have not been as good. And I think Brady going into Lambeau now, uh, full stadium, I don't think he'll be able to do it against this Packers defense. When you look at last year's game, there were a bunch of fluke situational plays that all went Tampa Bay's way. And in this game, I think the MVP, Aaron Rodgers, gets it done and wins at home. The Packers have been one of the best teams all year, and I think they finally get it done. Aaron Rodgers gets back to the Super Bowl there. So that's how I think the NFC pans out. Now let's go to the AFC side of the bracket. First here, we get to the 4-5 matchup in the AFC, where we have the Raiders after that Sunday night thriller. They get all the way up to the 5 seed and play the Bengals in Cincinnati. I think this is a good matchup for the Raiders. Um, even though these two teams played earlier in the season and the Bengals won, I'm going to give the Raiders the edge to win this one in Cincinnati. Bengals haven't won a playoff game in 30 years. Raiders haven't been in the playoffs in 18 years. And I think Derek Carr is one of the clutchest quarterbacks in the NFL right now. I think that Raiders defensive front will dominate the Bengals' poor offensive line. Um, and I think Jamar Chase might have a big day on offense, but I think the Raiders will be able to run the ball on that Bengals front, and the Raiders will be able to control the game and will get the upset win in Cincinnati. Next, we get to the 6-3 matchup where we have the Bills and the Patriots, two familiar foes here. They played twice uh, near the end of the regular season. They split. In this one, give me the Bills to get the win at home. I do not anticipate that the weather will be too bad, uh, so it will hamper Josh Allen's throwing ability. Uh, I mean, the Patriots, what was that in Week 18 against the Miami Dolphins? That just portrays the inconsistency of this team. I'm sure Bill Belichick will have them ready to go in this one, but I think the Bills are peaking at the right time. I think Josh Allen will have a big day here at home. Uh, Bills have some playoff experience from that little run last year. So in this one, I think Josh Allen outduels Mac Jones in his rookie playoff debut and the Bills advance. Next, we get to the 2-7 matchup, and this one's a blowout for me. Give me the Chiefs here big against the Steelers. I know it's a great storyline, Steelers making it into the playoffs when people thought there was no chance. Um, but we saw these teams play a few weeks ago, and it was terrible for the Steelers. 36-10. to They only scored that touchdown in the last two minutes when the Chiefs weren't trying. Uh, so I think Big Ben, he's going to have to have a miracle here for the Steelers to win. And the Steelers' defense is really going to have to crank up the intensity. They're going to have to make Mahomes have a terrible game to win this one. They're going to have to win the turnover battle. I just do not see all those things happening. So give me the Chiefs here to advance at home. Next here, we get into the divisional round where we have the Titans hosting the Raiders. And I actually think that the Raiders have a legitimate shot to win this one here. But I have to give Tennessee this win, especially when they have King Henry back. You just look at the complement of weapons. They get the running game finally back. And they were doing pretty good with Deontay Foreman. Imagine Derrick Henry. Uh, and then also Tannehill, Julio, A.J. Brown. So I think when this offensive line gets healthy, I do not think Las Vegas will be able to stop them. I think Carr is going to have to win a shootout to win this game, which he has done in the past. But I just think it's going to be too tough on him and the Raiders. So give me the Titans here to advance to the AFC Championship. Next game, we get to the Bills and the Chiefs rematch of last year's AFC title. Uh, and they also played this year in which the Bills won on Sunday Night Football. In this game in Kansas City, I'm taking the Chiefs to avenge that earlier game this season. Give me the Chiefs to win this one. Um, it just comes down to Mahomes at home in the playoffs. Only lost once that time to Brady. I think he outduels Josh Allen, but this one could really go either way. I think this one is a shootout. Uh, because I think the Bills and Josh Allen have been playing great football on offense, but I think the Bills' inability to run the ball is really going to do them in here. I mean, it's going to be a very close game, but I think I'm going to give the edge to the Kansas City Chiefs. And that sets up the AFC Championship rematch of two years ago uh, in this one, where we have the Tennessee Titans hosting the Chiefs. And in this game, I'm going to have to take the Chiefs again 
now to advance to the Super Bowl. I really wanted to pick the Titans here, but I just have more trust in Mahomes. I can't really see Ryan Tannehill rising up in the clutch moments of an AFC Championship game and delivering the Titans to the Super Bowl. So I know it's a bit boring, but I have Mahomes and the Chiefs advancing to their third straight Super Bowl. Uh, we'll see what happens because they will have a tough road here with the Bills and the Titans. But I have them going to Super Bowl 56 where we will see Rodgers versus Mahomes. And this will be an electric matchup in SoFi Stadium for Super Bowl 56. And I'm going to take the Green Bay Packers narrowly to win this one. This has been the matchup that everyone's been anticipating all year. But I just think that prolific offense with Aaron Rodgers, Devontae Adams, and that good running game will slowly wear down the Chiefs. And I just do not think that Mahomes and the Chiefs are as consistent as they were the last couple of years. I think the Packers defense will be able to present some problems. So give me the Packers to win Super Bowl 56. So with that being said, let me know what you think of my predictions. Be sure to like and subscribe and I will see you all in the next one.